So hi there. So this is a this is a sorting question. Um, and what we have to do is figure out uh, they've left out one what should be inside of this for loop condition here. And we've got to choose from this set of answers down here to replace that. Um, this is actually a n squared sort, and I can tell that because it's got this nested for loop structure, which is uh, almost always a dead giveaway for a f n squared sort. Um, also, as I look at it, there's a, another thing that tells me what kind of sort it is. This swap is at the end of this for loop, so it only happens at the, you know, once every time the outer loop is executed. And uh, the n-squared sort that we've covered that does that is a selection sort. So what a selection sort does is it goes and finds the next element that needs to be placed, either the next biggest or the next smallest, depending upon whether it's going, uh, uh, putting place, placing elements from the largest to the smallest or the vice versa. So it, it, it first finds the next element. That's what happens in this inner loop. And then it actually moves it into position, which is what happens in this swap. So that's a selection sort. So I'll just go through this line by line and decode it. So first uh, here, pay attention when you do these questions to these post and preconditions. They can actually be very helpful. So this tells the array is sorted in increasing order, from so, so from low to high. Um, okay, so this... Uh, makes it a little clearer what's going on here. So we get the array passed in, right? And again, this is this is review, but what we're really getting here is the address of this array. So we don't need to pass anything back. That's why this is void. This method will sort the list at this address, r, r, and uh, whatever. Call this method also has a variable that points to that address. So once the list is sorted here, it's sorted everywhere that has a reference to it. Okay, two local variables, j and k. Um, okay, so here j is starting at array.length minus one, so it's the last position in the array, going down, going down um, at, at, until j is one and never reaches zero. And uh, and so it decrements. And then here uh, we're setting pause equal to j. So you can think of it that, that you know, we're, we're guessing that the next element that we want to sort is at j. So we're just saying, okay, I think it's at pause, right? Now let's go check it. So we need something here. We'll come back to that in a minute. So what we do here is we um, we say if what's at a race of k, and k is going to come from this missing code, is greater than what's at a race of pause, right? Then we realize that, oh, the largest next largest element isn't at position pause. It's at position k. So we say pause is now equal to k. So that's our next guess at where the next largest element is, right? And then we keep on going because until we look through all the things in the array that we haven't looked at yet. Uh, and at the end of that, pause will contain where in fact the next largest thing is. And then we pass the array j and pause. These are positions, remember. Uh, j is where the next largest thing needs to go, and pause is where the next largest element actually is. So those are swapped, right? So now <coughs> the array is actually sorted from the end down to pause. And then we start the whole thing up again at, at the next uh, position towards the front from the end. Okay, do it again. So, um, The since we know we're going to uh, we're, we're going uh, down from 
the array length, or j, right, uh, towards the beginning, these three that reference uh, array length are, are not going to help us out, right? So we can eliminate those immediately, right? Because we're going in this loop, we're going down towards uh, the beginning of the array, zero. So really, the only difference between these is this, right? And the key here is that we have to look at the zero position, right? Because if we don't look at the zero position, we're leaving an element out. We're not looking at an element if we if we don't go down to the zero position. So that eliminates that one. So the correct answer is B. Okay. So uh, you're 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 going to get at least a few questions about n squared sorts, right? These are slow, but they're simple. And the ones that uh, you may see are the bubble sort, the insertion sort, and the selection sort. OK? Uh, and you can find out more of, about those uh, either in the haiku pages of your book or on the web. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks.